friends, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to today's interactive read aloud. I have a fun one for you today, featuring one of my favorite characters, and hopefully one of yours too. Double thumbs up if you remember Amy Wu. Amy Wu is such a fun character, and if you don't remember, Amy Wu is the star of these two other books, Amy Wu and the Perfect Bell, and Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. So I have done interactive reading labs of both of these books. So if you haven't checked them out yet, I will link them down below in the description. And there you can read along with us. Amy Wu is back with a new story about welcoming friends. So this is great for back to school, welcoming each other back to new school year. But it's also just great for any time of the year as a reminder of how to be welcoming and welcome new friends and neighbors around us. All right. So double thumbs up if you're ready to get started. Excellent. Let's begin. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Amy Wu and the Warm Welcome, written by Kat Singh and illustrated by Charlene Chua. So that means that we have the author of our book, the one who wrote all the words, and the illustrator is the one who draws all the pictures. So if I take a look here and see, what do you notice going on on the cover, my friend? Yes, I know. So many different things. I see this is Amy Wu, our little friend Amy Wu. She's always got her little kitten. I see some new friends. It looks like very happy. Like this is a scroll, like something you write on. There's clouds, some light shining, warm welcome. It sounds like Amy Wu is going to be welcoming someone, my friends. Have you had to welcome anyone new, maybe to your school, to your class, to your home or your neighborhood recently? And if you have, go ahead and share a little bit about it. Wow, very cool. Let's see who Amy Wu is welcoming today. Well, here if I open the cover, the first thing I notice is all of these different ways to say welcome. And they even have Vietnamese, my friends, which is a language that I know, Chào Mừng. So there's other different ways, Malay, and Indonesian, Korean, Hindi, Farsi, all ways to say welcome around the world. If you know a different language, do you know how to say welcome in that language? Very cool. If not, you can take a look at some of these. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book, Amy Wu and the Warm Welcome, and our author and our illustrator. And oh, over here I see the little cat. When Amy arrives at school, Miss Mary has a wonderful surprise. A new student. This is Lin, says Miss Mary. He moved here from China. Can everyone give him a big warm welcome? What is a good way to welcome a friend, my friends? You can say welcome, yeah, but what else can you do? Let's see what Amy tries to do. Welcome, Lynn, says Amy's clock. That was big and that sounds warm. Lynn grins and opens his mouth. <gasps> then he shuts it again. And then his cheeks glow red. <gasps> How do you think he's feeling if his cheeks are glowing red? Maybe a little shy, embarrassed. It looks like he was going to say something, but then decided not to, I wonder. I wonder what he was going to say, huh? For lunch, Lynn eats dumplings and tangerines. I'm having a dumpling party tonight, Amy says. Did you make those? Ooh. Lynn smiles, but he doesn't reply. He doesn't say anything. During playtime, Amy invites Lynn aboard her pirate ship. He puts on a hat, but doesn't sing Yo-Ho with her. So it looks like he wants to play, but he still doesn't really want to say or sing anything. Hmm. During show and tell, Amy picks Lynn to share his favorite sport. He holds up a soccer ball but doesn't say a word. Hmm. It sounds like he has things to share. He wants to participate, but is having a hard time speaking. Wow, a new classmate says mom after school. Did you make him feel welcome? I tried, says Amy, but I don't know if I did. Right, because she tried. And why is she so unsure if she made him feel welcome or not? Because she tried, right? She included him in the games, asked him some questions, but... He never really said anything, so she's not sure. But just then, Lynn's dad arrives with Lynn's little sister, and Lynn's face lights up. And, oh, here's a little speech bubble, and I noticed the little sister saying something, but does that look like, what language does that look like? It doesn't look like English, so it looks like maybe, what do you think? Maybe Lynn doesn't speak English yet. He giggles and chatters in Chinese. His sister giggles and chatters in Chinese. This is a whole new Lynn. Now, wait a minute. 
here's Lennon. He's talking a lot, but he's not talking in English like Amy Wu and her friends, right? He's talking in. So that is probably why he didn't speak before. Maybe he doesn't really speak English yet. Amy ponders. She thinks about the two wins as she and her mom arrive at the store. She ponders, thinks while they buy dumpling skins. And she ponders, she thinks while they choose dumpling fillings. And if I look here, look at all these different things that to choose from. Ginger, garlic, bok choy, scallions, cabbage, mushrooms. Mm, which one would you pick? Lots of yummy things for dumplings. Amy's mom looks in their cart. That's enough for our guests, don't you think? Amy's pondering becomes a brilliant plan. She has a plan. What do you think her plan is? <laughs> Will it be enough for a few more, she asks? A few more? Who else does she want to invite? <laughs> Maybe Lynn and his family? At home, Amy's grandma helps her roll out a long sheet of paper. Amy chooses her favorite markers. Then grandma writes a message while Amy says it out loud. She already knows the characters. So characters are how you write in Chinese. You use characters to write. In English, you use letters of the alphabet. Chinese, you have characters. So it looks like she wrote a message and she drew some pictures. What do you notice is on her banner? Yeah. And what do you think her message says? Maybe. One starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And ni sounds a lot like ni. One ning ni. All together, it means welcome. Oh, so that's what I say, welcome in Chinese. And welcome is exactly what Amy wants to say. Amy waits with her banner as the guests arrive. First come her parents' friends from work. Then come Amy's friends from school. Oh, so she's got some parent friends, some of her friends. And finally, there is Lynn and his little sister and his parents. Amy's hands tighten on her banner. She grins and she opens her mouth. But then she shuts it again and her cheeks glow red. What does that remind you of? It reminds me of Lynn at the beginning of the book because he was feeling maybe a little embarrassed to say anything. And why do you think Amy's feeling a little shy? Maybe she's a little nervous to speak Chinese to Lynn, huh? Because her banner's in Chinese. Everyone is watching, but the words stick in Amy's throat. She thinks the characters in her mind. Horn starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Horn. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And me sounds a lot like me. But she can't say them, no matter how hard she tries. Sounds like Amy is maybe feeling a little bit of what Lynn was feeling all day, huh? A finger taps on her shoulder. Lynn points to the table where the grown-ups are making dumplings. Well, so maybe you can't talk yet, but you can still communicate, right? Through pictures, through playing, through gestures. He doesn't say anything, but Amy understands. Lynn makes a dumpling shaped like a little boat. And Amy makes a dumpling shaped like a little purse. Boat, boat, boat. boat, 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 boat. And Together, the dumplings tumble into the pot. So you can see how many boats do you see? How many purses? Four each, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they both made an even amount. Together, the dumplings tumble into the pot, and the boats float beside the purses, and the purses float beside the boats. Everyone eats dumplings until they can't eat another bite. Mm, my friends, what do you think about dumplings? They're delicious, and if you haven't tried them yet, definitely try some. It's time for Lynn to go home, and then Amy sees her banner. Thanks, kitty. She takes a deep breath. Horn starts out soft like the hoot of an owl. Ying flies from her tongue like the ring of a bell. And Ni sounds a lot like Ni. Huang Ying Ni. Amy's family laughs. Silly goose, they say. Welcome is for the beginning of the party, not the end. Because she's finally saying welcome to him as he's leaving. But Amy knows better. It's never too late for a welcome. So even if it comes at the end, there's always time to say welcome to a friend. And, oh, and look at that. The next day, they're going to play pirate ship. And they're all there ready to have fun welcoming Lynn into their playtime. The end. And what's really cool is here they have in craft for you, my friends, if you want to make your own welcome banner, maybe for a new friend or a new neighbor. So here are some ideas for banners welcoming a new student to your school 
or welcoming a new friend to your hometown and some different things that you can put on your banner. Those are great ideas. All right, my friends, the end. What a sweet story, my friend, in addition to the Amy Wu series of stories. And this one has a great idea of how to make a friend feel welcome, even when you maybe don't speak the same language yet, you know? What was one thing you really liked about this story or your favorite part? Those are great parts. I agree. I really liked how they made dumplings together and, and how even though maybe he wasn't talking to her, Amy Wu still understood what he meant. You know, like, let's go to the table and make dumplings. Well, my friends, as you saw at the back, there was an idea of how to make a welcome banner. But I also have a craft that goes along with this book which features our little kitty, our Amy Wu's little kitty friends. And this is also about how to welcome a friend. So this one, if you can see, is already printed on colored paper. And when you open it up here, it has some ideas of how you can welcome a friend. So you can fill in the blank here to introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Maya. How old are you? I'm this year's old. I like to do these things. And some questions that you can ask a friend. So when you meet someone, you want to share a little bit about yourself. And then also ask them some questions. And then share a little bit about your school so they can get to know, you know, about your school. Then there's also this one, this version where you can color in and this one has more writing for you to do if you want to do more writing. This is a welcome letter that you can write to a new friend at school or in your neighborhood. So two different ways that you can welcome a friend, two different craft activities that both come in black and white or color. And my friends, I hope you enjoy checking these out. And if you want the craft template, you can go ahead and click that link down below to check it out. Otherwise, my friends, that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you have your own stories about welcoming a new friend or a time where you were welcomed, please reach out to me. You can find all my social media links down there listed below. Otherwise, my friends, if you enjoyed this read aloud, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my story by YouTube channel to keep up with all of our interactive read alouds. Until next time, though, happy reading.